about that a fair amount. There was some point when I feel I was really incredibly fortunate to know that like this is what I want to be doing. Let's see. Yes, you can sum up circuit bending, and of course it's going to be a long answer. Um, uh, the, the most classic definition uh, of circuit bending would be um, short circuiting of most often audio electronics in order to uncover bizarre new capabilities. Sort of confusing the circuits and, and causing them to function in bizarre ways, unexpected ways that they weren't made to function. just a creative approach to, uh, to, to electronics. Um, it's ambiguous and even with a solid definition it still you know branches out into lots of other things. I think the definition that I'm that I'm most comfortable with though is that it's an approach. And you can turn this tone on too to get another layer. So I think like this is where it's really like going. You take something that people know. You give them the speak and spell, the speak and read. Uh, there's other familiar toys that uh, you know people have developed this intimate relationship with. You show them something else that exists. And a lot of the appeal of circuit bending you know, is that, that you're showing people a world right beneath what they know. It's like taking a rock and turning it over and there's all that crazy crap crawling around under there. Um, and you think it's just like a pretty rock that you sit on, but there's all this other life. Um, and this is somewhere that like people definitely don't expect there to be other forms of life. I think this might need batteries as well. Maybe not. But you can get some really weird stuff, so that's intriguing. Let's see. This is this is a Barbie karaoke tape deck. You can get it to do a lot of this weird stuff. It's a little, a little loud. Like I've always enjoyed the benefits of uh, wanting what other people don't want. Anything you can ever want, anything you could ever want is being thrown out. Anything. And it's just like trying to get it before it gets crushed or, you know, burnt to, you know, nothing. I feel the same kind of like when I was little and my parents would give me like a He-Man doll or something. It was like, you know, you get real excited about that. And now like, I'll get this button and I'm just like, it's so awesome. I just think it's so cool. And like this guy who does the same stuff sent me this toggle switch. He's like, this is from an F fighter jet. You know, this is awesome. I'm like, oh yeah, that's, oh, that's the best. I'm not ashamed. I knew at some point, not too long after I started doing this, this is something I want to put a lot of time into. And it's been about nine years since that I've been doing this full time. This is my job. This is what I do all the time. For me, and I think for the, the art form itself, you know, novelty wears off. And for the society, you know, the people that appreciate this medium, that novelty is going to wear off too. And just the fact that they make kooky sounds is not going to be enough to make this seem like a valid art form. So what was initially appealing, which is people trying something new, won't be new anymore. Um, so what I've been really trying to do to keep it exciting for myself and, uh, you know, to continue with that spirit of like, let's see what else is just below that surface, I've started experimenting with like taking it, you know, a step further. <laughs> A lot of the articles you read about circuit bending, you know, like say, well, you know, it's fun to break shit. Like, that's what I've learned, like I think is really kind of short-sighted because this is talking about so many deeper topics of people really wanting to like to grasp onto some amount of control of what they're being fed, you know, what's around them. Um, and this is a small part. This isn't the symbol of people reclaiming control of their world. It's part of, I think, a part of, you know, a, a deep uh, undying part of the human spirit, which is like, you want to be able to modify what exists around you. You want to be able to make something personal. You know, they probably made millions of these. And this is like, un, you know, there's none other like this anywhere in the whole world. And this is uniquely mine and it has my name on it. 
which says it's mine. That's part of what I think makes it strong and part of what makes it a medium that I'm proud to be uh, involved in and uh, continue expanding on and uh, developing further. Um, that, was a, that was a tangent and a half, I think. Thank <laughs> you.